God bless me in the Lord's name. We can go turn on the TV right now or whatever. You can listen to Bill Maher talk about how God don't exist. Obama. You can get Obama. Yeah, Obama blasts me in the Bible. They trying to take it off the, uh, the internet now. What he was talking about, the summer on the Mount. Yeah. You used to find that shit. Now you can't find it. Like that chip commercial with Obama was in, it took the shit off. That's how they be trying to stick the shit. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah. Obama, Obama, they did blast me the most high when he made jokes about the sermon on the mount. It's like the most famous passage in the whole Bible, and he's making fun of it. It goes to show you how fucking evil we're looking. And it goes to show you he ain't had no truth, but he went to that damn church, and he sold his brother out. Well, he sold his pastor out. God damn. No, he wasn't no good. That's like right. that's like when them girls are Resident Evil. She got she buy, <laughs> got some guns strapped to her legs. Right, right. <laughs> got the in the coochie. That's my bitch off Resident Evil. What's that bitch Miller Yoga bitch? She's, she's, she's God damn! Da you know what she can sing too. Damn, that bitch got a beautiful voice. That bitch look. God damn! If ye fulfill, fulfill the royal law according to the scripture. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Oh, yeah. Do well. You do well. Y'all don't love your neighbors. Everybody likes to talk. You don't love your neighbors. Because first of all, love is the keeping of the commandments of the Bible. So if you ain't keeping the commandments of the Bible, you ain't got no love. You a hateful, evil person. Right. But if ye have respect to persons, ye commit sin. So the Bible says we respect a blasphemer that we're sinning. And really, it's talking about show favoritism, too. You ain't supposed to show favoritism. You know, just if someone's being evil, then man, wait, you gotta call them straight, man. Just watch them. When you when you judging people, you gotta call everything straight, no favoritism. So you go off. And are convinced of the law as transgressors. Yeah, you judge a person according to their deeds, okay, not according to how much you like them. That's what I'm having. Like, like the scripture say, you gonna be you gonna be. <laughs> I will get that Joel, bro. Oh, you got a good scripture? Yeah. Go ahead, we'll bring that out. She's gonna, she expects to, like, Luke 23 and 28. But Jesus turning into them saying, Daughters of Jerusalem, speak not for me, but for yourself and for your children. For behold, the days are coming in which they shall say, Blessed are the bearing and the wounds that never bear, and the paps that which never gave suck. Then shall they begun to say to the mountains, Fall on us to the hills cover us. For if they do these things in the green tree, what shall be done? What shall be done in the dry? They were also, and there were also two, two other male factors that with them to be put to death. I just want to read that part. Yeah, read that part again. But, uh, I, didn't, I didn't really know what you were doing. 23 and 28. But Jesus turned unto them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, reap not for me, but for yourself. Oh yeah, so these women, well yeah, he was talking, cause he's about to be destroyed, but he was telling y'all cry for me, y'all about to get messed up. That's what he was saying. That's what's going on, all these women, hey, that's a better scripture for that, it's actually Isaiah 30, uh, hey, that one, Isaiah, was that, 38 or something like that? It's been a minute since I've read it out here. 38? I think so. Hold on, Isaiah 38 and uh... No, 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 it's not 38. It's 34. It's 30 something. 36. The, uh, yeah, rise up, you women or you. Oh, I know. That's 32. Yeah, oh, 32. I'm 30 something. Rise up, you women that are in That's all you had to say. You know, I got oh, it right okay, there. Okay, okay, yeah, read that. <laughs> that, that that's, that's a good one. That that's makes it clear. We each other, bro. Yeah. That's the whole, that's the example of why it's got to be Oh, yeah, you be forgetting scripture. That's right. I, mean, I, should, I should have that scripture memorized. Yeah. Isaiah 32 and 11. Trouble you women that are at ease. That's all you women. But trouble, I mean, it says be trouble, you careless women. Yeah, because all these women in America, they some careless ass hoes. All they care about is getting, first, all they care about is getting money, getting sex, getting high. That's all they care about. And they surely in the hell don't care about their children. Yeah. They, these women, they, they have a child, they treat that child like the kid's the devil or something. Oh, you got it? No, go ahead, bro. Oh, yeah, read that again. Trouble ye 
women that are at ease, be in trouble, be careless with them, strip you, and make you bear, and bring a soft cloth supply in your loin. Yeah, so these women, they're going to be a morning soon. So it's going to be real dark and gloomy out here. Because these women out here, they got no respect for themselves. Because really, these women, they look at themselves. It's not the way we look at them, but, we, but they look at themselves like they just a piece of meat. That's why they walk down the street half naked, you know, looking like a stripper, looking like a prostitute. Because that's the way they think of themselves. They, they think of themselves as just a visual, you know what I'm saying? So all they care about is material bullshit. And none of these women believe in the most high. They careless as hell. They don't even believe in the Lord. You, you ask them about the Bible, they'll laugh at you. <laughs> oh, oh. Bitches, please. Don't try to give me that shit like y'all. God fearing women. Do uh, you have something else to do? So do you have something you wanted to bring out? Oh, yeah. Let me get this invitation. how these bitches don't even give a fuck about their kids either. Um, this Lamentation 4 and 3, even the sea monsters draw out the breast. They give suck to the young ones, but the daughter of my people has become cruel. Yeah, these women, these women are cruel. They don't care about their children. All they care about is being a damn hoe. Like the ostrich in the wilderness. That's why these kids growing up today are so damn retarded. The kid, the new generation of children now, they're retarded. They're retarded, they're stupid, they're disrespectful as hell. Some ignorant bastards. They ignorant as hell, and none of these little children being born now are being taught about the ways of the Lord. That's right, none of them. A bunch of disrespectful little demons. And it's all because of that woman, that, that wicked woman. That wicked ass black woman. The tongue of the sucking child cleaving to the roof of his mouth with thirst. The young children ask bread, and no man breaketh it unto them. They that did feed them delicately are desolate in the streets. They that were brought up in scarlet embraced dung pills. I embraced, read that again, man. They was, they was raised up thinking like they uh, like they get money. You know, the, the scarlet means that they have money to afford that good, the good garments, you know what I mean? So they always worried about getting the freshest gear, looking fly, got your new Jordans. Here you know what I'm saying? They ain't got no damn food in the fridge, right? But they got some Jordans. <laughs> they ain't got no food, but they got Jordans. Well, he's been Jordans from that day. Oh yeah, this is like, every time there's a uh, there's a famine, people eat their belt, eat their shoes. Because <laughs> it's made out of leather. They're on their way to do that. Most of y'all can't eat your shoes now because you got the pleather. <laughs> <laughs> you got all the dangers after Ezekiel. Ezekiel after. I mean, after, after the invitation. Okay. They that did feed delicately are desolate in the streets. They that were brought up in scarlet embraced dung hills. So all, yeah, all you people, all you materialistic people, all you care about is getting your fly gear. You know what I'm saying? You got your brand new kicks. You got you got, you got all your new all, all your new clothes. You got your uh, $1,000 computer and phone. All this other bullshit. You gonna embrace dung hills. Okay, you're gonna be turned into a pile of shit. <laughs> the, the vultures, they're gonna pluck out your eyes and eat your eyeballs. They're gonna eat your tongue. Right, right. For the punishment of the iniquity of the daughter of my people is greater than the punishment of the sin of Sodom that was overthrown as in a moment and no hand stayed on her. So, so the Lord said, hold on. So the Lord, he said that you women out here the Israelite woman, he said that your punishment is going to be worse than the punishment of Sodom and Gomorrah. Now the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah with fire. So how do you get any worse than that? This is going to be a whole lot worse. Her Nazarites were purer than snow. They were whiter than milk. They were more ruddy in body than ruby. Their polishing was as sapphire. Their visage is blacker than a coal. They are not known in the streets. Their skin cleaveth to their bones. It is withered. It has become like a stick. 
They that be slain with the sword are better than they that be slain with hunger. <laughs> For these pine away. I, yeah, soon. There's going to be a famine out here. There's going to be an actual famine. There's going to be no food. Y'all going to see actual cannibalism breaking out. That's right. Y'all don't think about that. You live in a giant city. <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of people. There's a very dense population. So when the economy fully collapses, there's going to be no food. And, and then a lot of these wicked hoes are going to eat their children. Already, we already shut the farmers down. And they own all the food, so. And they already said it was a bad year for crops. Yeah. It was a drought this year. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He sent me a, 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 a article on pigs and shit. Shorter term pigs. Oh, uh, you know, they're not green like that. They don't like that one. I ain't trying to hear that one. Well, because they kill so many of them, they're probably messing up the pig spirit. Yeah, they're small as they Yeah. Small. So, they, that's probably not just a pig. Either. I'll go ahead and read that. For these pine away stricken through for one of the fruits of the field. The hands of the pitiful woman the that pitiful, stuck their uh, own children. The pitiful woman. So the Bible said you women are pitiful, man. Y'all pitiful. You should be ashamed of yourself. The hands of the pitiful woman that sodden their own children. Because y'all don't care about your own children. All you care about is being a hoe, getting money, and you cursing the kids every time they ask for something. Like, get the fuck out of my face. They were their own meat in the destruction of the daughter of my people. It really is. Yeah, they disgust me. The Lord have accomplished his fury. So the he Lord poured the, out his fierce anger. So the Lord, he gonna, he gonna pour out that fierce anger real soon. Y'all adulterous hoes, y'all can laugh it up all day, because the Lord's gonna destroy you with fire. There's a fat, there's a fat bitch on the bus laughing at it. Pointing at it. It's like, ah! It's funny. I gotta look it back to bro. Ecclesiastes, I got a scripture to back you up. Ecclesiasticus uh, 16 and 1. Desire not a multitude of unprofitable children, neither delight in ungodly sons. Because like we said, like we said, most of these little children growing up now, they're a bunch of heathens. Ain't nobody being taught about the ways of the Lord. But a scripture it, in there too. You know what I'm saying? When, when I was young, like I said, I got... I praise the Lord that I had a mom to push the Bible on me, you know what I mean? Right, right. She taught, taught us about Moses, taught us about the Ten Commandments, okay? It said, uh, though they multiply, rejoice not in them, except that the fear of the Lord be with them. I'm not sure this is the one I wanted. Uh, yeah, go ahead, bring out what you got. That was the point on that. I'm going to get a different one. That's not really what I wanted, but that was still good, though. Okay. 23 and 17. There shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel, nor a son of my of the sons of Israel. So that's a law in the Bible. The Bible says it's against the law to be a hoe, to be a whore, to be a prostitute. And I mean, what I mean by like commit adultery? The Bible says that a woman's only supposed to be with one man her whole life. They say shit, nigga, you crazy. So if you've been with more than one man in your life, you're a hoe. Straight up, a goddamn filthy hoe. That's why your pussy stinks. Right, that's why your pussy stinks. <laughs> oh, man. He goes toward the France. Like, 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 this is what a script I'm wanting right here. All right, I'm ready. Oh, you guys, if we can keep going, we can go back and forth like the, uh, uh, Ecclesiasticus 22 and 1. Actually, let me start at uh, three. An evil nurtured son is the dishonor of his father that begat him, and a foolish daughter is born to his loss. Now here's the look. A wise daughter shall bring an inheritance to her husband, but she that liveth dishonestly is her father's heaviness. So it's when, when a woman is a hoe, she's a whore sleeping around all kind of men, that brings dishonor to her father's name. So I'm saying, so when you're a hoe and you're a woman and you, you had sex with more than one man, you bring dishonor to your whole family. And you should be ashamed of yourself and you, you should repent. Yeah, because who wants to be the one like, 
damn, that's your cousin or that's your daughter? Right. right. Like, uh -oh. I done hit that all kind of way. <laughs> shit. Like, shit, that's your, that's your cousin? That's shit. Embarrassing. That's, embarrassing. that's your sister? Shit. That's embarrassing. It is. That's, some, that's why I said it's a, it's a father's heaviness, man. Man, you can give, man, you can break your father's heart by being a hoe. No, a a, a, a a Cause that hurts the father to see his uh, daughter to be a damn whore, man. I want to see those bitches dressing well, half naked. Ran out of minutes. The mother she embraces that. This ain't fucking fact. The mother she embraces that. The fathers they don't like that shit, but the mothers embrace it. Yeah, the mothers do embrace it. You're like, right. If that ain't you like. That ain't, you don't need that man, you go out there and find you a better man. And all these hoes, they act like men, always screaming and yelling. Great woman talking about they gonna fight you. A man, a woman ain't gonna fight shit. You don't see that bitch that got knocked out in the Oh, room. I see. <laughs> talking about the, um, the Cleveland Thunderbolt. That's what Jim has called it, the Cleveland Thunderbolt. I don't watch that video like a thousand times. I hit him with a perfect double cup, man. That was that Mortal Kombat. That was that Street Fighter. That was that, 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 Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, no. Oh, that's beautiful. You know, they nah, hit him with a charge. Nah, nah, nah. They hit him with a charge. Yeah, what, now what's that called? That's the, uh, uh, I, I forget what he said. Sadukin. I don't know. I don't I know like that shit. Nah, oh, you can that's that, that fireball, yeah. I forget how to, I don't know this street fighter word. I didn't think word. they got one. Yeah, now there is one, one, yeah, because the dragon punch. Yeah, yeah he know. hit that bitch. Yeah, he looked like Ryu hitting that bitch. Like, ha, ha, ha. That was a good day. So these women ain't gonna, they ain't gonna fight, man. If a woman gets in your face, like I'm gonna beat your ass, nigga. Just punch that bitch. Here it is. You got a lot of motherfuckers like, oh, he was going off by doing that. Like, did you not just watch the video? Like, like what the fuck? I read it. I was reading the comment board. Everybody's saying it was beautiful. Yeah. The people on the bus were picking up for the bitch. Yeah. But if, when you read the comment boards, everybody's calling her a hoe. He's like, that's what that bitch gets. Yeah, I mean, apparently, she spit on this shit. Yep. If you get in somebody's face and you do something, you deserve what, to get yeah, your ass I mean, beat. What do you, if you go rob the bank and you get killed, you, that's what you expect. Right. I mean, what the fuck? Plus, you can't be a, you can't be violating someone's area. Yeah, that's the This is your part. space right here. Yeah. If I get up off in your face talking shit, you have the right to punch me. I don't give a fuck who it is. And don't be surprised when you get punched. I mean, that's what comes with it. Bro. You said you was going to, she said he, she's going to beat his ass. Yeah, so. So what happened to that ass whooping she's going to give him? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> uh, I got a scripture for that. Ecclesiasticus 22 and 5. <laughs> she, she that is bold, dishonoreth both her father and her husband, but they both shall despise her. I, I, that's a, a woman ain't supposed to be bold. That's what we got a lot of women now talking about they gonna fight you. Like, I'm gonna punch you. They're like, you don't know me. You know what I mean? Bitch, a woman gonna actually gonna get in a man's face and actually think she can fight a man. That, that's what the people at in America now. And then the men will get punked. They actually get, a lot of them will get punked though. They're like, oh, please don't hit me. That's because a woman got the police. Back up. Oh yeah, they call it fuck the police. The men get in that spirit now, they're like, you know what? Fuck the police. Lock me up. This bitch is getting punched. Right. You know what I mean? I'll take the hit. I'ma punch this bitch in the face. That's another thing that pisses you off is you'll get a DV charge, but then you get a fucking judge when her husband beat her ass. So anytime somebody come in that courtroom a man, she already gonna stroke the ass just because they're a man. Been, you always got her ass. That's why the, the poor system is. It's some bullshit. It's just saying with them cops, them cops, if those cops was real men, if they seen an adulterous hoe get, get get the shit beat out of her by a dude, they should just turn just turn the other way. You see the other day, yesterday or the day before yesterday, a cop up in Langston got his head blew off for committing adultery. The man came home, him and his wife were trying to patch up the relationship. Man. You know, the daughter called him was like, you know, this motherfucker here with mom. He comes home and blew it both of them. Yeah, that was that cop, and wasn't it? Himself. Yeah, it was a Lancaster. It was a Lancaster sheriff. Yeah, it was a Lancaster sheriff that was committing adultery. Uh, he was committing. He was committing. He was there with his wife. Dude came home. Was like, That's know, that spirit. The Lord out. gonna bring that OJ spirit out raw and hard, bro. Took him out. And you know they. You know how they do it with the flag, half raise it. Oh. <laughs> but he, they doing that shit for an adulterer? For an adulterer. Come, come in adultery, they praising adultery. That's right. Back in the old days, you know what they would have did? First they would have killed you, then they would have burned you, mm -hmm. then they would have buried you, then a couple years later they'd still be mad about it, so they dig you up, <laughs> re-burn you, and then throw your ass in the river or something. That motherfucker that committed that's what, that's they, they used to really dig mother... 
They used to dig people up and re-kill them. Right, because the man went down with the dogs. Nah. They went down with that. Oh, it's just now they're pushing that shit, man. They say you, you mean, know, it's people like that that's pushing shit like a dog to the shit because they're 50 and fat. They say also, oh, they, they call it, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. He said, it's called a faggot. See how you want. Great homosexual. That's a textbook homosexual. In his pocket, he probably got his pew. So you read the Bible? You want to talk about Jesus? You ain't got time. Right, we understand. You ain't got time for Jesus. Nobody got time. We ain't got time for you no way either. We don't want to talk to your nasty ass. Shit. <laughs> Trifling ass hoes, man. Like we want to talk to a hoe. Right. Kind of says, actually, if we talk... Look, man, could, so if we know that the women are hoes, which they are, what do you do with the hoe? Somebody please tell me. Oh, so it, what's it to do with her? What, what, what is the purpose of a whore? Does oh, anybody know what the purpose? pleasure of a man? That's it. That's, That's it. it. That is it. Nothing, ain't no have a conversation and learn about what you thinking, about what you like. You know what I'm saying? Going to philosophize with you. <laughs> right, right. Have an intellectual conversation. A woman is only good for one thing. And that's a shame too. It's a shame that it's got to be that way. But that's the way it is. But the scripture said the one, the man was not made for the woman, but the woman made for the man. But, it, but this society we live in so backwards. We we came and we came to have a wife. Like we always say in this society, in America, in America you don't get a wife. All you get is a turn. You get to take your turn with that bitch. They're, everybody getting sloppy seconds. It's hard as hell to get a, a woman that's a virgin. And then they keep her on top of that. Oh uh, yeah, I was telling my, uh, my friend, cause uh, he started to hit the script of school, starting to read it and shit. But he was like, yeah, they was at, at the school talking about a bitch that was a virgin, everybody was laughing at him. Right, right, like, what right, the right. fuck, that's the society we live in, cause everybody was like, you ain't having sex yet. You get laughed at for being a virgin. <laughs> I can understand for a man, but for a woman, that's like, wow, that's yeah, like, definitely. Like if a woman's a virgin, that's that's like a, that's like that's, a, that's like a treasure. That's like seeing. That's like finding gold. <laughs> Shit. No, you gotta get him like age fifteen to be a virgin, maybe younger than that. Shit. Yeah, you can't. You can't. No, but you know what? If Elvis Presley, if, you know, if Elvis Presley was alive today, they they'd say he was a pedophile. But you know, Elvis Presley, he got married to like a fourteen or fifteen year old. Uh, Priscilla was. She was young as hell, but they had no problem with it back then, did they? Nope. But now. But if Elvis was alive today, they'd call him a pedophile. Yeah, that's right. It's a fucked up society, man. Well, then again, they allow certain people to get away with shit. They allow the wicked to do things. But like back in the day, everybody did that back everybody, then. It was common. Even your boy, the piano player, uh, Jerry Lewis. Uh, yeah, uh, Jerry, Jerry Lewis. Yeah. About the other one great balls of fire. Yeah, great balls of fire. Right. He, was, yeah, he yeah, married yeah, a young right. bitch. They all married. Everybody, everybody did that back then. All of them everybody. Did. All of them did. That was the that was that was the custom of the day. That white, that's that white man. He married a seventeen. They was all Christians. They, you know, they, they was raised on biblical principles for the most part. You know. Let me see the evil white dude. He got the young wife. Oh, uh, if you get caught with more than one wife, you get locked up, man. That's why they they, they, they did them like the Mormons. They made the Mormons stop uh, practicing polygamy. <laughs> Well, the hell with the Mormon anyway, but the only thing they do got right is, yeah, you can have a lot of women. They got that part right. Everything else, they're wrong. It's the only thing they got right. Let me read this, bro. You look, you look, you look for that on. Um, Here's your boy. You want to second print Yeah, it wasn't in. Uh, you see your boy, uh, you see your boy, Snoop Dogg? Second print in 11? Oh, you said He ain't voting for Romney because he's a Mormon and he ain't got no hoes. Oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> 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 Second Corinthians 11 and uh, Romans 8 and 16. You got the Pee Wee Herman bike. Now he's going to hit a button, he's going to launch up in the outer space. <laughs> he do got to get our camera to beat. Yeah. Hey, your boy Francis is going to try to steal that shit. <laughs> He gonna get out, we gonna have to pull that big ass chain out. Well, we got GPS tracking on it. So. They didn't have GPS back in 90 or 89. Oh, uh, no. 
fucking pee with your hand. Yeah, that's it. Fuck. So y'all read the Bible? Yeah, the pastor don't even know what's in there. Yeah. <laughs> y'all clean y'all coochies out. Y'all doing church now? A lot of nice girls. Uh, go ahead. What you got? You got some. I got some. I'll go ahead. Okay, let me read this song. Because it's all going to go into this bitch again anyway. Hey, fast sir. <laughs> <laughs> He's a hobbit. He's down with Bilbo Baggins in there. <laughs> uh, second, as we thought, nevertheless, as concerning the tokens, Behold, the day shall come that they which dwell upon the earth shall be taken in a great number, and the way of the truth shall be hidden, and the land shall be barren of faith. Yeah, it, it's not the truth. Is that so? The, the land is barren with faith. There's no faith out here. Nobody even believes in the Most High. Everybody there's a got no faith no there's more. a very few small remnant that still really believe in the Most High. Okay, because the Lord said you always keep a remnant. You know what I mean? But iniquity shall be increased above that which now thou seest. That's talking about America. Iniquity, because if y'all know, y'all don't know what words mean. Iniquity means evil, okay? So there's all, America is this number of evilness out here. Don't nobody praise the Lord. If you ask somebody if they believe in the Bible, they look at you like you're stupid. <laughs> what? No. And they're like, no, I'm a homosexual. But not a lot of people, they, they, they act, they'll look at you like you're stupid if you're not a homosexual. That's where it's getting at. And, yeah. You know what I mean? Like you said earlier, like a, like a, now a woman gets made fun of if she's a virgin. What kind of madness is that? Like nowadays, you know how all these motherfuckers wear their clothes. Back in the day, you couldn't get away with that shit, man. Hell, you, get, you, get you get beat, beat this up shit. or laughed at. You get killed. Nowadays, if you don't, you ain't with that anymore. You, you, oh, you know, they, go, they just say you lame. But iniquity shall be increased above that which now thou seest, or that thou hast heard long ago. And the land that thou seest now to have root, shall thou see wasted suddenly. So uh, yeah, so America's gonna be wasted suddenly. All right, when those thermonuclear missiles start flying, this place is gonna be is gonna be wasted. It's gonna be devoured by fire. But if the Most High grant thee to live, that's why we gotta get that Joel. Thou shalt see after Two. the third trumpet that the sun shall suddenly shine again in the night, and the moon twice in the day, and blood shall drop out of the wood. Yeah, y'all, y'all people out here, y'all about to be trouble. There's gonna be a lot of trouble, a lot of death, a lot of anguish, a lot of despair, a lot of affliction. Mm. And even he shall rule whom they look not for that dwell upon the earth, and the fowl shall take their flight away together, and the sod of the sea shall cast out fish and make a noise in the night. Yeah, because it, it says Sodomus seed. Yeah, they got to see the Sodom, the spirit of Sodom and Gomorrah mixed with Egypt and Babylon and Rome. All, all the wickedest kingdoms in the history of the earth all been merged together. And then they call that palace shit America. America. They, they, in America, they, it's a melting pot. They take all the beliefs of all the heathens in the world and mix them all together. Which many have not known, but they shall all hear the voice thereof. There should be a confusion also in many places. And the fire shall be off sent out again, and the wild beasts shall change their places, and mistress women shall bring forth monsters. Yeah, these, that's why these mistress women, they bring forth monsters. That's talking about these little demon children they're giving birth to. Because the woman, if a woman's a demon, which most women are hoes, and they demons, and they give them birth to, they give them birth to little baby demons. And they're not teaching their little demon the Bible. Okay, all they, they teach them on PlayStation and Nickelodeon. And all this bullshit. Isaiah 3 and 12. As for my people, 11. Go unto the wicked. It shall be healed. Hey, read that again. Isaiah 3 and 11. Go unto the wicked. Go unto the wicked. It shall be ill with him, for the reward of his hand shall be given him. Oh, that's our YouTube, man. It calls woe unto the wicked. As for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. Yeah, women so, rule over them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah how you gonna go to a, get a job and a woman be in charge of it? You got a damn woman. That ain't gonna happen to me. Oh, a, my people. And people actually had no problem with a woman being in charge of it. You gotta be out your motherfucking mind. A woman ain't gonna tell me shit. Especially when you hear the things that come up the mouth, like you're the boss. And then you go to the courthouse, you go to the damn courthouse, they have a woman judge. 
women judge, the women, the, the bitch you gonna get your money to, to, to get on the elevator, you gotta hit the bitch buttons, it's all kind of weird shit. Yeah, dude, all the teachers of the elementary schools are mostly women. We got neutral white. Are you neutral white? You wanna talk? She is an Israelite. All right, do y'all believe in the Bible? Hell no. <laughs> believe in Satan. was looking like, what, what you know? I don't. stupid ass Hey, she looked at you like you seriously had some fucking problems. Yo, yo, yo. She, 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 looked, she looked at she you like, yeah. <laughs> like, what, nigga, what? It's like you just threw acid on her or something. <laughs> she probably had a heart attack after you heard the Bible. Cause, yeah, because this devil had his way, they had to burn all these Bibles. The devil, if Esau had his way, he would burn every Bible. Hey, what happened to that Uncle Tom fucking burning the damn Quran? Oh, yeah. He turned to an Uncle Tom and they paid him some money. That bitch did it. That, that one great, uh, 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 a little sexy little bitch. I sent her a message. She said she was single. I sent her a message. Here in Columbus? Oh, like, you need a real man of the Lord. <laughs> here in Columbus? Nah, oh. she's from Texas. I don't know where she's from. I was fucking with her. You read the Bible? Yeah. sir. She got time. Ain't got time. Ain't got time for the scripture. Let's get that Joel. Let me finish this. I'll go ahead, because this goes with that. As for my people, children are their oppressors. Yeah, because they women rule over them. Oh, yeah, keep going. Oh, my people, they which lead thee cause thee to err. Oh, yes, yeah, so all, all your leaders are causing you to err. Your mama, your senator, oh, your governor, your pastor, your mom, your uncle. Yeah, you got you got a bunch of dummies out here. They, they, actually, they actually think that Barack Obama is like a God-fearing man. And they actually think that like Barack Obama is some kind of spectacular, magnificent president. If he sang, uh, he sang old school songs and shit, dance. Cause he come out and make some jokes. He crack a couple of jokes. Oh, this guy's the greatest. But wait, well, in the meantime, he got predator drones flying over the sky, spying on your dumb ass. In the meantime, we got record high abortion rates. And Obama's about to, about to implement that chip, too. So, so I, pray, I pray to the most high that Barack Obama gets reelected so he can implant your ass with that chip and he's going to bring that war. Yeah, you know, when gets, he gets elected again, man, them horns going to come out and shoot him. Yeah, because I don't want, yeah, because well, I don't want Romney to get, because Rom, if Romney gets in there, they might delay it. We don't want that. Uh, everybody's mad at Nicki Minaj because she's both for Big Rock. Uh, so everybody's calling her a terrorist now because, like, I don't know what's wrong with black people. Why don't know black Nicki people? Nicki Minaj said this shit? Let that hold. Let that hold. Yeah. I heard somebody bumping some damn Nicki Minaj today. All that bitch was talking about was her ass and, like, sucking dick and... So all black people, they hate Nicki Minaj because she's not voting for Obama now. Now she's a... She's but you, but you know what the funny thing is? If we say anything bad about black... Uh, excuse me. If we say anything bad about white people out here, everybody says we're evil. And black people say this. They, they call us the devil. They say we're evil. But then if we're so evil, then how come... Hold on. If, if they say we're evil because we talk bad about white people or Chinese people or whatever... But, but all black people are voting for Obama just because he's black. Yeah. You bunch of damn hypocrites. A bunch of fucking hypocrites, and they try to say we're racist. Black you, you see the hypocrisy? That's right. That's right. Yeah, and Obama's not even from, he's from goddamn Kenya. Kenya. <laughs> That's the damn east coast, east coast of Africa. He still ain't have his birth certificate yet, man. I don't think any slaves came from Kenya at all. I'm not for racist. What's that? Oh, yeah. I don't, I don't think any slaves in America came from Kenya at all. I don't yeah. even see the tribe. I don't see no tribe in like. All the slaves came from the other side of Africa, which is like thousands of miles away from Kenya. Damn. Well, mostly on the west coast of Africa. Right there, uh, Senegal is the main country. But here it is. They say he's black because he comes from Africa, though. That's the motherland. That's but, where the, uh, but, but that's where all the black people. But Africa's big as hell, man. He's better get acquainted with Galatians. Now they, all the niggas starting to get Egyptian tattoos and shit. And the raw eyes and shit and all kind of crazy. Well, if you think you're an Egyptian, you know, the Bible said all Egyptians are going into slavery. So if you want, if, you, if you're an Egyptian and you swear you're an Egyptian, well, slavery time for you. You're going straight into slavery. But the Bible said 
If you're not an Israelite, you're going to go into slavery. Hey, let's, let's get that revelation. Hold that, Joel. Get Revelation uh, 2 and 26. We got, we're going to bring that Joel out. We're going to get Revelation 2 26 real quick. Uh, uh, let me get this one. Too, uh, if, if whatever goes with what we're talking about. Uh, Hebrew 8 and 8. What you talking about? All right, let you know the what's about to come. All right, just bring it out. We're finding fault with Bill. He said, Behold, the days come, says the Lord, where I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Yeah, that's what that's what that new covenant, that's talking about the Lord, that when Yahweh Shah died on that cross. That's that new covenant. Okay, because the old covenant, in the old covenant, if we broke a law in the Bible, like I say we committed adultery, we gotta get put to death for that. But now you can be forgiven of your sins, okay? You can, be, you can be spared. Because under the old covenant, there was no mercy. But there's mercy under uh, Yahweh Shah. He, like he said, he said, he said I, I have the power to forgive men of their sins. That new covenant is that, that kingdom, when we get in that kingdom, man, that uh, when he put the laws inside of it, when he give us our whip to whip our slaves, that's going to be that covenant to, that's part of the covenant. Hey, his son's whip on the line is sick. That's probably the best one, actually. Psalms 149 and 6. Let the high praises of the Most High be in their mouth. So the, mo mo the praises of the Most High is always in our mouth. Keep going. And a two-edged sword in their hand. And we got our sword in our hand. Our sword is Bible. That's our sword. We're going to chop you to pieces with it. Keep going. To execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with feathers of iron. This is talking about these heathen. They're like the presidents, all, all the presidents and prime ministers of all these countries. To execute upon them the judgment written, this honor have all his saints. So really the Lord's saying the Barack Obama's going into slavery. That's what the Bible said. He, he's a heathen. You know what I'm saying? Bill Clinton going into slavery. Uh, the Bible, man? Ah. You know them um, dreadlocks or actually snakes? Goes back to Satanism, witchcraft, and stuff like that. Yep. And it's another funny That's what stuff. dreads are. Only girls have long hair. It's another funny thing. Right. Now Clinton's now talking about vote for Barack, Barack Obama. Uh, his wife worked for him. That shit's even more funny because now niggas is like, oh, it's official. Clinton said vote for Obama, so it's official. Well, he got his stinking <laughs> ass wife works for Obama. That witch. Hillary Clinton's an actual witch. Yeah, that goes to show oh, you. Shit. I got a bad. Oh, you what? Go ahead.